found myself wondering What did happen to the last ten? I ran away with my life, fast forward Never turned back again It's kind of funny that the more we pass time The more we need to set the rewind And 19 was the year I had to leave you But now I'm seeing all the signs Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true we are auto vlogs so today we're gonna review the mg rx8 well the mg rx8 is the uh, flagship product in the ua region so it's it's got uh, lots of great features and uh, it's a uh, rugged suv with great looks great features and whole lot of space is available in this car so uh, talking about the key rivals well the key rivals are the uh, the gac g8 the nissan pathfinder and the korean rival the uh, kia sorento so we're gonna check it out its interior exterior and the performance and we will take this car for a short spin if you uh, end up liking our video be sure to like share and subscribe hit on the bell icon and be a part of our notifications what so, well uh, talking about the price well we are having three trims to offer in the ue region so there is a comfort trim the uh, the lower end trim is the uh, base variant and uh, we are having the top end trim is the luxury variant so price is starting from 89,000 and it's going up to 111,000 dirham so uh, talking about the design perspective it looks very stunning and it's very rugged SUV and ha having lots of uh, chrome garnish uh, chrome treatment all around this uh, chrome grille over here and uh, these are the uh, uh, automatic headlamps uh, with this LED setup and we are having the uh, uh, daytime running lights also and moreover the even the fog lamps are uh, LED setup and uh, we are having here also some chrome treatment here and uh, we are having a stunning diffuser and this car is having exceptional road presence and we are having the well crafted bonnet here and uh, there is some chrome treatment here as well dimensions wise uh, well this is a quite a huge suv and uh, you can see it's a uh, four the length of this car is 4.9 meters and uh, the width is 1.86 meter and the height is 1.8 meters which is quite impressive and we are having 2.85 meters of wheelbase which results in great uh, uh, space and uh, trunk trunk capacity also which is quite good and uh, the stand there are some good standout features uh, for the exteriors the panoramic sunroof and we are having the 18 inch alloy wheels and there is a whole lot of chrome garnish all around the window window lines and we are having the keyless entry for the both the passenger and the front driver and moreover we are having the electronically foldable mirrors again quite good quite impressive must say Talking about the rear profile, well, the rear profile is also very minimal design, no no nonsense, but uh, there are uh, uh, LED tail lamps here and uh, the MG badging is quite exceptional and we have a diffuser over here and uh, the chrome treatment, treatment for the exhaust is qu quite looks very ex exceptional and we are, all, uh, uh, and more, more importantly, we are, this is a four-wheel drive car and Well, stepping inside the cabin of the MG RX-8, well, the area which the MG RX8 excels in the in terms of interior well the interior design is very minimal minimalistic design and uh, we are having a big 10.8 uh, uh, inch infotainment system driver information system and a whole lot of feature equipped uh, I must say and uh, the quality of the material uh, there is a very good uh, uh, soft touch materials has been used and little bit of a lot of plastic flimsy plastic but it's covered in the leather and moreover we are having the uh, uh, steering wheel which is quite heavy and uh, we are having lots of uh, good features like the telephony and all and uh, the cruise adaptive cruise control is also available and the pedal shifters also available and we have we are having the dual airbags available and we are having uh, uh, eight speakers for the sound system but I didn't like much much of it and much in, didn't enjoy much but it's decent enough we are having it sounds really even in the at the volumes of uh, 0 to 4 it sounds too much but it can go up to 32 which is very ridiculous and moreover uh, the AC we are having a dual zone AC and uh, for the single uh, for we are having temperature controls for in the from for the front front passenger and uh, for also for the uh, rear passengers also which is quite good so currently today we have got this uh, MGRX8 this is a mid option model which is called called the Comfort well, there are three variants for sale in the UE, the base, the comfort, the 
luxury uh, what we have got is the comfort so we are having the fa- fabric seats so we don't have a ventilated seat if you are uh, opting for top end variant the luxury you are having the ventilated seats also and but these are uh, electronically adjustable seats and uh, there are some uh, this, this uh, uh window controls are is, is of chrome which looks very premium ness a lot of premium ness it provides and um, the talking about the practicality we are having lots of uh lots of compartment in this car so you can see there are a whole lot of compartments and here is the wireless charger if you opting for a top end variant and here we are having the uh, usb uh, usb and uh, uh, lighter over here and uh, there are uh, another com- more compartments over here also which is quite huge and in terms of practicality it's pretty good car and here also we are having uh, uh, door door pockets and all and we are also having this uh, uh, full size uh, panoramic sunroof which is quite a pre- good premium feature in this car so and you can up to f- open this one you need to press this and automatically it will and moreover we are having this uh, huge glove box over here you can check and its lighting also is available for the glove box now in the second row seats of the mg rx8 which is very quite impressive well you can see legroom and the headroom whole lot of legroom and the headroom itself and you are having some door pockets over here and moreover the most significant feature i like about uh, the mg rx8 second rows are the second row ac as well we have uh, climate control for the second row as well which is quite uh, uh, amazing uh, uh, conf- configuration by mg which is you know we are having uh, in this humid climate outside there is almost like 50 degrees celsius so it is a quite a significant feature for the middle east region to must have the second row climate c- controls also again quite impressive and uh, comfort levels of the seats are pr- uh, quite impressive and yeah we are having uh, armrest and cup holders also for the second rows well pretty good uh, second row cabins and we are having here we have some socket here over here for connecting the laptops and the uh, uh, other uh, equipment and uh, there are one, there is one charging outlet also uh, again which is quite impressive one more significant part the this uh, seat, seats are uh, uh, adjustable as the second row passenger seats also and we can uh, recline also for our comfort comfortable comfort purpose and which is quite impressive also for the third row sir con- concerned we are having very easy access just you need to pull this lever and put the seats in the f- little bit in the front oh, like this and then you can access easily okay now i'm in the third third rows of the mg rx8 well quite impressive but uh, for the mid size adult it's okay for the shorter journeys and all but for the long journey it's not that comfortable but it do it decent enough must say and we are having the ac vents for the third row passenger also which is quite impressive and the cup cubby holes also available decent enough talking about the boot space of the mg rx8 where the mg rx8 really excels is the boot space and just uh, we don't have any electric tailgate in this car but uh, this manually we need to open so this is a 400 liters of boot space so decent enough but uh, when you put down the second row and the third row then uh, it will be around 2178 liters of boot space which is quite impressive uh, and the car size is quite big so definitely it's a uh, very practical car must say okay. let's take the mg rx8 for a spin well mg rx8 is powered by a 2 liter four cylinder uh, uh, turbocharged engine which puts out a 240 bhp of power and 360 newton meter of, newton meter of torque at 4000 rpm well the, in the in the initial impression cabin is pretty quiet uh, first thing i noticed in this car and uh, all over the steering it feels very heavy and uh, not much agile in the city traffic this uh, steering is heavy so it's uh, not easy to maneuver and uh, moreover uh the power delivery is quite good just you you can put the uh, foot on the pedals then the responsive of the engine is pretty good very responsive engine you can see just put i'm putting the pedal and now you can see how good the response is 
and the sound is pretty crisp if you are going going on the high rpm and moreover the top speed of the mg rx8 is 210 uh, km and uh, acceleration 0 to 100 it does in uh, 9 seconds quite good uh, for the size of the suv and uh, talking about the fuel economy uh, this doesn't impress me a lot because uh, 10 to uh, 8 to 10 kilometers which is uh, decent enough and uh, w- one of the most significant thing is uh, uh, we are having some modes available in this car so we have the two uh, uh, two two high which is useful in the freeways whenever you are cruising at high speed so uh, the power will increase uh, and there is a sports mode also available for uh, whenever you are cruising at the tarmac and uh, most important significant thing is it's having lots of great offroading abilities which is quite significant also so things i like about the mg rx8 it's uh, interior is quite impressive and the price proposi- proposition it's a great proposition for the pricing is very aggressive and kind of features and uh, uh, features it's it's, uh, it's having pretty phenomenal and moreover uh, it uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, offroading abilities are also available in this car there is a dedicated offroading mode which is quite good All in all, the MG RX8 is a phenomenal proposition for those who are looking for a feature-loaded car. Kind of a uh, lot of uh, it's it's having a great performance, great looks, and uh, it having a it's having a great road presence also. Moreover, the interior is very good and very comfortable. Comfortable seven seats it's having. Uh, what makes this most special and uh, heck of a proposition is it a six-year manufacturer warranty or. Uh, uh, 200000 kilometers warranty so whichever comes up first you will uh, you can avail the warranty so that's it for now hope you like the video useful like share and subscribe hit on the bell icon and be a part of our notification squad